Hello and welcome to Animal Based in Your Face. Today we're going to cook bacon in the Instapot on the saute mode. We normally like to cook our bacon Dr. Ken Berry's way. We learned it from him where you deep fry it in a pot with the lid. You can see that video on our YouTube channel. And we've also cooked bacon in a stainless steel pot. It does work great and it leaves a burnt on mess that is very hard to get off. There is another video on our YouTube channel to show you how to remove that burnt on mess in a stainless steel pot. But today for the first time, I'm gonna try to deep fry bacon in the Instapot. I went ahead and put a tablespoon of bacon grease in it to help um, keep it from sticking so bad. And we're gonna see how it goes because Teflon coating is not good for you at all. So I'm just looking for another way that's healthier, that the bacon will cook great, not stick and not make a mess. Let's get cooking. There's a lot of great brands of bacon out there, but today we're gonna use one of our favorites, Wright brand, Applewood Realwood Smoked. And another brand that we just discovered last week that we love is the Kroger Thick Cut Hardwood Bacon. And to be honest, we were shocked. It almost tastes exactly right, like the right bacon. So I'm gonna cook both of these today in the Instapot. So I'm just taking one piece at a time. I'm dropping it in the pot. Like I said, I did add about a tablespoon of bacon grease and hoping that it wouldn't stick because when you're cooking in our Ninja pan, it doesn't stick at all. It's on saute mode. My dogs are playing and barking. Please ignore them. <laughs> They're puppies. Once this gets cooking and starts browning, then I'm going to turn it every two to three minutes. Now, when I'm using my Ninja Pan, I can normally turn my fire down to a medium, medium high. But since we're doing the Instapot in a saute mode, I cannot do that. So we're just going to fill this up right now and see what happens. I have two pounds in my Instapot cooking on saute mode. And I will say I did leave these in long pieces. Now, some people don't like it curling. It doesn't bother us at all. We do use this to eat by itself, to put on omelets, you know, anything, eat it with eggs. We put it in, like you can put it in breakfast tacos. There's a lot you can do with it. But I did cook this two pounds in, in the solid, you know, solid one length pieces. The next batch I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut it in half just to see if it cooks any different in the Instapot than it does in the original method that we normally do. I'm gonna give this about probably three, four, five minutes. See how fast it starts browning on the saute mode. So great news, I just did a quick test and it is not sticking to my Instapot. I did start, like I said, with about a tablespoon of bacon grease and I got the skillet, or not the skillet, but I got the pot hot before I stuck my bacon in. I actually learned this and I never even thought about it and we've had an Instapot forever. One of our subscribers made a comment that she liked to cook hers in the Instapot and I was like, wow, why didn't I ever think of that? So thank you to that subscriber. I'm trying out your technique today. Everything's looking great. Just starting to lightly brown, so I'm gonna let it go a little bit longer. But I was gonna say another great thing about cooking in the Instapot is it's mobile and you can take this outside to your back porch, in your garage, Anywhere you want to cook it, if you do not want your house to smell like bacon or that strong bacon grease, some people love it, some people hate it. We don't really mind it, to be honest, but if it's a beautiful fall day, I'm probably going to take this outside because we have a gorgeous lake view and cook my bacon outside. It's still on saute mode and it's just cooking in its own fat. 
It's been 19 minutes. It is taking quite a bit longer than my Ninja, but you can see it is browning at 19 minutes. I did discover it's sticking just a little bit, but not too bad. So we'll let this continue to cook and check on it in a few minutes, and then I'll show you the finished product. And then I'll let you know what I think about this cooking method. We're at 25 minutes. It's browning nicely, just cooking slower than I'm used to. But I did just notice something else. This pot on the inside of your Instapot, this, the stainless steel one, when you're trying to flip your bacon and turn it, it's constantly spinning. I'm not crazy about that, but it is a much healthier option. So I went and got a hot pad. You know, you could probably just use a towel or something, but I went and got a hot pad or a, you know, a glove. I call it a hot pad because we still use it as one. And I just have to hang on to it as I'm flipping my bacon so it doesn't spin and I do not burn myself. But so far, this is a really great method. Like I said, it's sticking a little bit, but not too bad. I just keep flipping it regularly. We're right at 30 minutes. As you can see, it's getting nice and brown and crispy. There's still a few pieces that are fatty. A lot of you may pull it out right now, but we like ours extra crispy. So I'm gonna let this continue to cook. I will say it is nice. It's like the other method that we like to do in the pot with the lid is it doesn't splatter. There's no grease all over my stove. I'm not getting burned. And it is a healthier option because we are using a stainless steel um, pot. It's a, it's a much healthier option. So, so far I'm loving it. Just a little bit too slow for me, but the only good thing about that is is you can get things done around the house. So actually I was in there doing laundry and taking care of the dogs. From the time I put it in to the time I'm taking it out is 35 minutes and it's perfect for us. So let me start taking this bacon out and see how it looks. And it's looking good to me. 35 minutes to get it as crispy as we like it. Doesn't it look good? A little curly doesn't bother me. We actually keep this in the refrigerator in an airtight container and we go through probably six to eight pounds a week, so it never goes bad because we're eating it so fast. And when you're done cooking that two pounds of bacon, you have a lot of yummy fresh bacon grease that you can put in a stainless steel container. We leave it on our counter. It lasts for a very long time on your counter. You will know when it's getting bad, when it starts to smell, but we go through it so fast, ours never gets bad. And some people actually keep it in their um, refrigerator in a like mason jar. I'm gonna go ahead and throw in the bacon that's cut in half and see if it cooks any quicker. When you turn on your Instapot and you hit that saute button, just pay attention because it puts a 30 minute timer on there, which is fine and will probably be great for most people. But if it beeps and it happens to shut off, You'll just need to come back over here and hit that saute button again. And then you can hit cancel when you're done cooking. And I'm gonna go ahead and use the bacon grease that I had in here from the first batch that I did to cook my half pieces. It's been seven minutes. They're not really browning yet, but it's cooking and sauteing my bacon really good and just frying it all up. So while that's cooking, I just wanted to show you these are the Rubbermaid containers that we absolutely love. You can get them on Amazon, of course, Walmart, anywhere, but they seal airtight. So in the refrigerator, we usually cook about four pounds at a time. This is two pounds. And I just stick it in here, put the lid on it, press it down, it locks. It's totally sealed. And this is how we store our bacon in the refrigerator. In the morning, if we're making omelets for work, the bacon is already cooked, so it doesn't slow us down to get out the door. It's already made, just, you know, break it up, cut it up. Or if we make bacon sandwiches, just get the container out of the fridge, 
get you some cloud bread, put you some bacon on it, a fried egg, cheese, whatever. But it's just super fast, super convenient, and it really helps us out a lot. It's been 16 minutes. Bacon is looking great. It's browning really well. I will tell you what I did is I put the lid on my Instapot and I didn't lock it or anything. I just sat it on there because the way we normally cook in the pan is with the lid. And that's um, what we love because it cooks fast and it cooks great. So I just thought on this second batch that I would try it with the lid. And I have to say, I, I honestly believe that it cooks faster. It's holding the heat and steam in and I probably prefer it. How's that looking? Like it's getting close to done. It's definitely cooking faster. This is a little bit less bacon than the last batch, but it's also cut smaller. So it's cooking faster, plus the lid on. So I think I'm loving it cut in half for sure. So this method took about 22 minutes for it to get done. They're cut in half. They look fantastic. I'm gonna go ahead and put them in my other container and we're gonna be loaded up with bacon for the next several days. And then I'm gonna cook one more batch. I finished cooking all my bacon and we're gonna save our bacon grease and put it in our stainless steel container. But I wanted you to see the bottom of the Instapot pot and all the stuck on yucky stuff. We do have a video, like I said earlier, on our YouTube channel where you can see how we clean that off pretty easy. Be sure to follow us on Animal Based In Your Face for more great recipes and tips. And be sure to find us on Facebook in our Facebook group called Animal Based In Your Face Tribe.